So we are going to upgrade the hard drive on this Dell Precision M4600 and we're going to start by taking the battery out. Now I just upgraded the memory in this so I had already taken these two screws out but um, of course if you're tearing into it uh, you'll need to take these two screws out. I just put them kind of put the cover back on it uh, right after I did the memory to do this video for the hard drive but um, these two screws I had just taken out and you can look back in the previous video if you want to know how to upgrade the RAM because I just covered that but then this cover after you get those two screws out this cover just slides this way it comes out so just lift it out you actually don't have to take that cover off so once you get that cover off you've got four screws right here those hold the hard drive on so we're going to take those four screws out Times when magnetic screwdriver would be handy. Let's lift this up. Well, two of them came out. set these to the side keep them separate from those other two screws because they are different these are fatter screws so the hard drive kind of popped out so. and there it is so this I think is a 500 gig mechanical drive and we're going to replace it with a solid state. Now, there is, this one popped out. It's got some damage on this corner, which we'll be addressing, which I think is kind of, it's kind of bulged out right here. I think there's an issue with the um, case over here. Um, it's bulged out here. You can see it's dented in and pushed out. Um, it was like that when I got it. I've ordered a whole new bottom case part and that'll probably be in a future video but um, normally once you get these four screws out you would need to press this button in right here there's a button right here and then the hard drive should pop out um, this one as soon as I got those screws out it popped out and I guess because this case is tweaked maybe this does not line up anymore like I said the case is pushed out right here so it may have put tension on the hard drive pulling it out so normally take these four screws out and then slide this little slider over and the hard drive will come out so let me get the new drive and we'll put it in so this is what we've got and I decided to give this a shot this is from Micro Center and it's one of the cheapest solid state you can get and I know it's not probably the best performance drive but uh, this is an older laptop so I think it shall perform well and it will be faster quite a bit faster than the old mechanical drive so I think I, this was like 40 bucks so really 40 bucks for a uh, 480 gigabyte drive that's a bargain so what we'll need to do is take out this drive uh, it is not held in by screws there are these little it's kind of little spring 
tab, little indentions, little dimples that go into the side of the hard drive. So you can kind of just peel this cover down. Try not to put force on the on the cover of the old drive if you're wanting to, you know, repurpose it or something. It's just not good on the drives. So just try to pull it out and you'll just have to kind of pry just a little bit where those things are. Normally if you get kind of like the end like that, then you can kind of just peel it out like that. This was a, pretty sure it was a 500 gig. Yep, 500 gig. And there was nothing wrong with that drive. We're just looking to upgrade performance. So solid state will go in just like this and do the same thing. Just kind of push it and it'll pop into these slots or to these indentions. And of course, make sure you get it the right side up. In this case, it mounts upside down. So then you're just gonna take the drive, make sure you're putting it with this little uh, latch part facing towards the other part of the latch, like that. And it's just going to slide in there. And pull back on the latch. And yeah, this one does not latch very well. But it is latched in there and then you're going to put your four screws back in and once those are back in you will put your cover back on it just slides back on and then you're going to put your two screws back in put the battery back in then you're good to go so thanks for watching leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more and i will let you all know how this drive holds up